Alright, so it looks like they have just released the new beta. So I'm gonna be just generally going over like what they have changed. Now let me see if I can turn down the effects a little bit, turn down the music. And I'm gonna generally go over each of the new different areas. Now in the warehouse, it looks like we just have probably a bit more emotes. Nothing too bad. Now the talent system is going to be their new system that they're coming into place. And this will be the main reason that you're actually getting gold coins for. Um, so I'm looking at it right now. And it does look like there is going to be a limit in terms of how much you can get per week so I mean you can't just rush everything to the end which honestly does sound fine now as far as everything else goes it looks like it's just giving you like basic materials at the very start Yep, and then now this is going to be probably the best one early on. The pokers are just generally very amazing overall. Reaching your max food and max hunger, which, or max water, which really isn't too vital, but got your increase in HP. And then looks like we have armor, HP, and then you get a key card. Maybe at higher levels you get a better key card. And then it looks like we just get basic ore here, and then you can get a better axe to start with. Which would be pretty big if you can get that up and just start with a decent axe. The ways to earn it. And looks like, yeah, it is just your coins that you're going to get per battle, or if you spend diamonds. Battle pass, let's see. What do we get for battle pass? Battle pass is, it looks like. Just basic skins, basic vouchers. Nothing really too, too big or anything like that in it. Looks like it is literally just going to be skins and it's going to be uh, limited time trial cards for these items and your daily tasks, just kill basic stuff. Then I guess we get weekly experience now, which I guess just increased me by one level. Um, so nothing overly big. Now if I go over to, let's see, got survival gift, which just means you will get a art confetti, it looks like. Um, where would be the lucky wheel? I'm guessing that's not this. Guessing the wheel is under the supply. Gold supply. And I got a permanent breezer. Oh boy. <laughs> so this is just where you can get basic stuff and then you can get permanent stuff as well, which apparently I did get one of the permanents. And then you have the gold, the diamond one. Diamond one I'm guessing just has I, I have a lot of trial ones apparently, but also a lot of permanent ones. I see you unlock outfits. What do you get for your first survival? Extra bonus. I guess you can use cat ears. So, nothing exactly too big. You have your achievements, which it does look like does reward you with some gold and like some gold supply vouchers, which is kind of nice. Oh, here we go. If you get level 8, you get 100 talent points. 
Which actually, in fairness, is basically worth almost 2,000 diamonds. Or actually, no, more than that. Yeah, possibly either 2,000 to 8,000 diamonds, which can be quite nice. And then, is there anything else I'm forgetting? The shop, I believe, is just basic, basic stuff. Um, change your ID, team rename, ah, oh, it's straight the other thing. Is that they unlock this team interface. So you can create a team, it looks like, with diamonds. And this team is going to be how you get into the team mode. So you have to do your daily quests every day, it looks like, or your tasks, to get experience, basically. And then with that experience, you are going to be leveling up, which then gets you unlocked to the team mode. Now, team mode, it does look like just basically has double rewards which you know you start with extra really just extra gold right and you get like an extra badge yeah pretty much that seems like that's what it is you get double the reward basically which isn't bad for grinding out now it's not the only one that we can join go ahead and enter and let's see what is new and then let us see if there's any new interfaces so I believe you have the mastery now I don't you have less than the gather so I'm guessing that if you have mastery you can basically just get basic stuff and same with combat which requires combat which I'm guessing is your combat achievements is that no because this will be based off of I don't know I don't know actually how do I gather talent points no talents okay so maybe the talents can let you do mastery in a server which just net you like slight increases i mean 10 percent less damage is kind of nice nothing so far is like so broken as before um basic stuff as before now let's see we have okay this is the other thing that they added they added the monthly card and a supreme monthly card so basically it just means you get extra furnace space from what i'm understanding uh well extra backpack space extra recall or uh, recall timer which is kind of nice furnace double output chance which I guess means you can smelt two instead of one. Um, this is where the big one comes in. This is where you're going to get your plus 200 HP. Your extra crafting outputs. You got an extra respawn point. Which means you can have four total. More spaces and then daily tech point cap. Which is kind of nice for rushing those tags and then you got your starter pack which like before just seems to be basically instead of having a gun though this time it did just have a machete which honestly is fine and this is where like if you were starting with that poker early like it would be very nice because even if you watch ads you only get 240 so being able to start with 300 or more does kind of net you like a different style that you can do um let me see is there anything else i'm forgetting 
Uh, looks like the daily starter is just basic resources. Is there anything else they could forget? Uh, just making sure this is oh, this is where you're going to do your daily quests. There's online time and everything like that to get extra gold for just being active. Um, this is the operation guide. Um, I don't see anything else. So this will be pretty much it for the first video though. I just wanted to basically go around and show all the different new things because it does seem like they have did some changes but in terms of everything else that'll be for next video I'll also have to change the map of it too they updated I have no idea what that means or what this is they updated it looks like the map a little bit they made it just a bit fresher, like a bit more polished. Now granted, this is, I believe, in high graphics. Uh, apparently I am in low frame rate. Um, uh, okay, I guess we have a different frame rate options. And then, yeah, this is in high graphics. I'm not using a filter, high resolution. So, I will start the next video after this, and then that this is just gonna, this was just to show you like what's new. The next one is gonna be a more of let us jump into the server and see what's different.